Now in this video we'll talk about two major topics like we'll see what are the different IPsec modes and the second thing we'll talk about IPsec protocols. Okay, so first let us let's try to understand IPsec can be implemented on two different modes. Now two different modes are nothing but two different ways of implementation. Now we got something called tunnel mode and we got something called transport mode. Now the major difference between the tunnel mode and the transport mode is Let's take an example, you got a server, a user or a user here trying to connect to between these two. So I want to provide a connectivity between these two endpoints. So I want them to talk to each other. Now probably this is your private network and this is your private network here. Now your information will come here. So once it reaches the router, we are going to build a virtually a point to point a tunnel. We are going to build from router one to router two and your information probably it comes with this IP address here whatever the private IP address is now once it comes with a private IP address in case of tunnel mode it's going to add some extra header information which is going to add some tunnel source IP address like it's going to be the tunnel source IP address will be this and the tunnel destination IP will be this so it's going to add some public IP addresses as a source and destinations and it's in the actual forwarding over the network it is not happening based on the actual private addresses it's going to happen based on the outer header now that's what we call as tunnel mode now in case of tunnel mode it's going to add some extra ip information added to the existing packet and the actual forwarding on the network will happen based on the outer ip header which is added here but whereas in case of transport mode the there is no there is no actual info, header information added it's going to go with the same uh, same ip we can say so there is no another information adding in the in the in the case of transport mode here <laughs> now generally in in a normal cases like uh, tunnel mode is something which is commonly used if you are connecting some uh, point to point connections between the router to router or or side to side vpns between a router to a firewall implementations so where your entire original packet is protected by the IPsec. So whatever the information you are sending, this is your complete IP packet or the payload. So it's completely protected by the IPsec and the actual forwarding happens based on the extra IP header which is added on the router ends. But whereas in the transport mode, the end-to-end the -end communication is happening between the server to the client based on its own IP addresses and the actual forwarding happens based on that. Now most likely uh, this transport mode is something more commonly used if you are doing some encrypted telnet sessions or maybe an encrypted remote desktop connections from end user to end user. Now most of the time we will be using uh, tunnel mode implementations and by default it will be a tunnel mode and only. Now these are major difference between these two different headers. You have, a, you have an IPsec implemented. In case of transport mode, uh, we'll come back to these protocols, ESP and AH. Now in case of tunnel mode, it's going to add a new IP header. That's the public IP addresses. In general, if you are establishing tunnel over internet, mostly this will be the public IP addresses added. And the actual forwarding from here to here happens based on the public IP addresses. But whereas in case of uh, transport mode, uh, the actual forwarding happens based on the normal normal IP addresses. There won't be any new IP header added over there. The actual forwarding happens based on the existing IP addresses. It just adds some these two protocols. Now these two protocols are responsible for uh, for providing IPsec again. Now the next thing we'll talk about IPsec protocols. Now IPsec majorly deals with three protocols. So IPsec is a set of protocols we call them as and it's a combination of these three protocols we can say so encapsulation encapsulating security payload authentication header and internet key exchange now the major difference between these three is ike is is going to provide you the framework for negotiating the security parameters now what does it mean is let's say you got a router here and you want to connect between these two routers a virtually a vpn connection ipsec vpns you want to build now this IPKE protocol is responsible for providing a secure channel between these two different locations. Now in simple words, it's going to build some secure channel, secure channel establishment. That's what happens. That's what IK is going to do. But whereas these two protocols are the actual IPsec protocols, which will provide you the secure exchange of the information. 
So IKE protocol is going to build a secure channel, just like you know, uh, creating a tunnel or creating a channel so that the, you, you can send the information in a more secure way. But whereas these two protocols are the actual protocols which will uh, provide the actual encryption and authentication kind of stuff. So the actual uh, security is provided by these two protocols. Whereas the IKE is the protocol which provides a secure channel which is established before before we actually send the information.